Hi, third grade friends. Mr. Lake with McEachern Elementary here for this week's social studies assignment. This week, we will be covering goods and services, which really relates to our needs and wants for our communities. If you'll follow along, I will read our intentions for the week. We are learning to explain the difference between goods and services so that we can identify important economic needs in our communities. You will be successful this week when you can explain what a good is by providing examples, explain what a service is by providing examples, and create a list of goods and identify the service for a specific good. I don't have an introduction video for you this week. However, in your assignment for the week, which we'll talk about at the end, you will have quite a few videos that you have an opportunity to watch. Here are some vocabulary words that I thought would be essential for you to know this week. Goods, things that you buy and use. Services, jobs that people do to help others. And those two vocabulary words are our focus for the week. These next four are ones that we have already talked about over the last couple weeks. Needs, something you need to survive. Wants, something you don't need to survive. A producer, a person that makes things for others or provides the service. And then the consumer, person who buys things from the producer. So when we were learning about needs and wants, and then we talked about producers and consumers, it's important to know that we are consumers. Every human is a consumer. Even animals are consumers. All consumers have those basic needs. And remember, those needs are things we need to survive. Air, water, food. And so I put some pictures here just to kind of remind you of those. But I bet you have developed an understanding of things you need to survive in your home, in your environment, in your community. Consumers also have wants. We talked about this. I love having a Dr. Pepper when I've been working outside mowing the yard, but it's not necessarily a need for me to be healthy, right? So that is a want. We also have things like candy, clothing, shoes. We talked about the plethora of amounts of shoes that sometimes we collect. We don't need all of those, but we want the different varieties. So families make choices about how to spend monies on items they need in their community in order to survive. A consumer buys or trades goods and services to get them what they want and need. So one thing to remember is that goods are things that you buy and use. They are things that made for people in order for them to survive by buying them with money. I have listed some things here for you that I buy as goods. I have a car, a computer, a cell phone, a refrigerator. What do you have in your home that is considered a goods? Now, with our goods, there sometimes comes repairs or places we go to get the goods. The people that work at these places or these places are called services or the service people. Services are jobs that people do to help others. I've posted some pictures here. Do you see the lunchroom cafeteria worker? We see them every day and we should really appreciate them when we go through that lunch line. They're doing us a service by providing us a good healthy meal. How about the mechanic? My car sometimes needs to go to the shop to get repaired. And if there were not people there to service it, my car would not run. And we cannot forget our mail carriers. They're doing a very, very important job. They are servicing us by with our communication through the mail. They bring us letters. They take our letters to other people. Another important fact with services is to remember the producers. A producer is a person who makes things and provides the service for people to buy or order things. Look at the kiddo in the middle. What kind of producer do you think he is? That's right. He's a baker. He's servicing people by baking goods. Breads, donuts, 
cakes. What other things can be baked? Yes. If you could make a product to sell, what would you make? I want you to think on that. But one good important thing to remember is that goods and services aren't free. People work to earn money to buy goods. Money you earn from working is called an income. Notice I didn't have income on our vocabulary list though, but I did underline the meaning for you and the word so you focus on that as you work on your assignments for the week with social studies. Here are our intentions again. Remember, to be successful this week, you'd have to be able to explain what a good is and provide exa an example. You also need to explain what a service is and provide an example. And I bet by now you should be able to create a list of goods and identify the service for that specific good. If you cannot do that right now, by the end of your practice work, you'll be able to. On the link page, there is an economics choice board that I have created for you. There are titles, underlined headings for you to be interested in if you want to check it out. The blue wording means that you can click on it and there is a video resource for you right there. Now notice my business in the middle does not have the blue link. There is not a video this week there. However, I want you to be creative and thinking back to that question. If you can make a product to sell, what would you make? Apply that thinking to this box if you choose. Again, it's your choice this week in the work that you do to help understand goods and services and how that all incorporates into our needs for our communities to be economically sound. Until next week, have a good week.